If you really believe that this is all true, if this is indeed, you know, you know what it says over in the what is it, Revelation 14? It says that when we enter into our rest, our deeds follow us. I'll tell you this, through all eternity, the things you do in this life in the service of Christ are going to follow you there. And yet you're giving yourself to the trivialities and the vanities of this life. Amazing. You know what? You're a professing child of God. You say you believe in eternal rewards. You say there's treasure to be had in heaven. But then you compare yourself with a lost man. And he's outrunning you. He's investing in all his stuff in this life because he believes it's going to bring him pleasure. You say you believe the greatest pleasures are at his right hand in the world to come. And yet by your life you're not proving it and he's outrunning you in the things, his objectives, what he wants to accomplish than what you're running in. We speak one way, brethren, and we live another way. And we ought to hang our heads that this world should be outrunning us. Jesus Christ said, I would, you would show yourself in or out, hot or cold. And if you're going to be lukewarm, if you're going to serve me with a half heart, it sickens me, I'll vomit you out of my mouth. He's not speaking to some Turks over there in Izmir, bowing down to their Allah over at the no, he's, talking, he's speaking to a church just like I'm speaking to now. Not to the lost hordes out there. He's speaking to the church. And he's saying, if you're going to try to serve me with a half heart, divided heart, I hate it. It sickens me. Go one way or the other. But get off the middle. And if you're not ready, listen, and I say this as far as membership to this church, if you're not willing to commit to be hot and to commit to go all the way, I'm not saying God may not move you, God may not take you another place, that may happen. But when you come, you need to be committed to serve the living Christ with some heat, with some fervency, with some passion, with some commitment. If you want to play games, there's a lot of other places you can go play games. But we want to do it according to the Word, do we not? And it says do it with fervency. It says don't be slothful in this. Zeal matters. Passion matters. Over and over and over and over again in the Bible, we find intensity matters. Zeal matters. Wholeheartedness matters. Don't settle for anything less. Too many lazy Christians, or at least professing Lazy Christians. Make no mistake about it. The Lord Christ is calling you to put away your idleness. Put away your slothfulness. All your laziness. All your half-heartedness. Serve Him as a slave with a boiling spirit. That's what we're called to do. Brethren, don't be slothful. Don't be idle. We have too much sloth and sluggardliness and slowness in Christians today, I'm serving the one who died for me. I'm serving the one who gave himself for me. I'm serving him who gave himself up a fragrant offering to his Father on my behalf. Now let that sink in. Beloved, we don't just want to serve Christ, we want to love Christ. We're not like those people pagans. Oh, I've got pictures in my mind. Hindus in their yard with their little dollhouse looking altars. Bowing really fast. And also, it's almost like you look at it and it's like, that, that, that can be real. That's, that's, we're not like them. We don't serve our Christ like the pagans, all full of fear, all full of terror. Brethren, if, if Christ were to stand here right now, and you know, He would speak with authority and yet with compassion. If He spoke in that way and He said, look at my wounds. I've done this for you. What have you done for me? Is this not worth your fervency? 